Hello everyone. So today we are going to design and perform finite element analysis of a bracket. So let's start. First, this is the Nancy's workbench software. First we will select static structure. Okay, then we will select geometry. Then we will go to new design modular geometry. Okay, here we will select the XY plane and we will select sketching we will select polyline and we will draw our figure that is bracket dimensions if the dimension for sides give each one as 50 millimeters h3 as 10 millimeters if a v2 as around 100 millimeters then Now we will select modify, go to fillet, give the radius as 10, and we will select here. And we will give, give the radius as 20. Select here. Okay, so it is done now. We will select on extrude. Select on apply. will give the direction as both symmetric and we will give here the value as 30 then we will select generate ok so let's zoom in ok so this is our figure and you can see it's created so now we will select blend then fix radius then we will select these two edges apply we will give the FDI dimension as 30 select on the generate ok so as you can see is generated let's click here on faces okay then we will select the face and we will right click here and we will select look at now we will select sketching then we will select circle Draw a circle from here. You can see the circle is created. Now let us give the dimensions. give the dimensions suppose let us take the diameter as 30 millimeter and let us take L2 okay let 
steak and as 30 millimeter okay. and steak and 35 millimeters okay. now we select and extrude then we will go to operations we will select cut material then we will click on generate okay so as you can see a hole is created you can see this hole is being created so now for the next phase we will select here and again right click and we will select look at we will zoom in we will select on the sketching again we will click on circles we will now draw here two circles okay so let us give the dimensions Give the dimensions let d1 and d2 okay d1 and d2 let's give it as okay let's say 10 millimeters and also 10 millimeters then let's give the other lens all the other lenses 15 millimeters are given okay now let's click on extrude go to the operations and select a scut material and we'll just click on generate okay so as you can see two small holes are created okay so our modeling is done so close this let's click on update now we will click on model and edit first let us set the unit we will set it in mm and kg ok that's fine so now we will click on mesh Right click here and we will select on generate mesh. It takes a bit of time. So, here yeah, you can see the mesh is generated. Now, we will fix the base of the model. Okay. So, we will right click on stroke texture. So, then we will insert and we will click on fixed subgroup. Select the piece. Okay. Okay. Now we will go to geometry and here we will click apply. Okay. Now also we will add the force. Again we will have to right click on static structure, go to insert. Then we will go to force. select the phase where we have to add the force so, so this is the phase where we will have to add the force so let's select this 
select the face. Now we'll go to geometry and we'll select apply. We will select this defined by as components. Now for the x component we will give the value as 5500 for y component it's minus 1700 and then for z component it's 3500 okay so as you can see that's the force shown here force is shown here this now we will define the solution okay so right click on the solution and click on insert then go to go to deformation and we will select total deformation okay again is right click on solution go to insert and click on strain and we will select equivalent strain again right click here go to insert strain go to maximum exposure in this way we also add the stress add the equivalent stress we will add the maximum principal stress ok let's give the shear stress okay, so let's give Shear strain. I think it will be fine. Now let's click on generate. Okay, so we will have to wait a bit. As you can see, this all these stress and strains are being generated. Okay, this is the total deformation. You can see. This red part is the maximum total deformation and these blue parts are the minimum as you can see this is the total deformation then this is the equivalent strain as you can see as you can see the concentrate uh, this the equivalent elastic strain is concentrated at this part this curved part you can see this reddish and yellowish colors minimum principal elastic strain so here equivalent stress this is the and maximum principal stress you can see that maximum of this terms are of the stress and strain are concentrated in this curved part this is the shear stress then this is the elastic strain now as you can see that uh, the mesh size is quite a bit it's quite a bit bigger in size so we can refine it to get a better result so to do that we will right click on mesh and we will click on insert and we will go to sizing geometry then we will select the whole body then we will select apply and we will give this element size as let's say 3 ok then we will click on solve so as you can see the mess has become quite fine compared to the previous mesh now we can make it more fine by using this clip on sizing then we will select here span angle center let's select this it as fine okay let's again select our mesh now let's select the whole body Insert and sizing. And let's give it as so. Okay. 
Okay. As you can see, got a fine mesh here. Okay. Now let's go to the results. Let's now check the results. This is our bracket which we have made, which we have designed by using Ansys. So, this is the mesh structure that we have created. Then, if we check the total deformation, so this is the total deformation. We can see it's maximum at the tip and it's minimum at this part. The bluish part. I put an elastic string, equivalent elastic string. As you can see, it is concentrated here at this curved part of this bracket. Then, maximum principal spring. It's quite similar. This one, it is also concentrated at this part. This curve. And stress is also concentrated in this curve. Maximum stress, this one here, and shear stress is also shown in this curve part. Then, lastly, shear elastic strain is also shown in this curve part. We can also see the animation here. So, as you can see, this is the animation. Information if we check this is the animation and check or equivalent elastic strain still the animation. So in this way we have analyzed this model of a bracket. We have designed and analyzed this bracket. And I have shown this uh, animations also. So in this way, you can model and analyze any kind of this any kind of machine part or any kind of object. So thank you for watching.